Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Welcome back, faithful neckbeards and nerdettes, to Spider's Toy Review on youtube.com slash piecrumbs. Today we're looking at Transformers Generations Optimus Prime from the upcoming Fall of Cybertron video game. As you see, in his package still, or as I like to call it for Transformers Stasis Lock. Uh, you can see his vehicle mode right here. has a nice aesthetic appeal from multiple generations. Got the War Within kind of uh, wheel wells sl slumping back. The cab design and the trailer looks actually kind of like the Transformers animated design, the more I look at it. But, you know, Optimus Prime, red and blue semi-truck, uh, they try and get closer to the aesthetic. The uh, first one for War for Cybertron, I just saw a Photoshop, it looked like a lawnmower, and I laughed a lot. Oh, turn this the right side up. Shockwave, that's what I want right there. I love Shockwave. Stats, bio, pictures, ion cannon included, which is good because otherwise Prime would have to go hand to hand against bad guys, and uh, though he could probably do it, it's easier with a gun. I'm gonna go get Optimus here out of Stasis Lock and get some nice, pretty pictures taken. You know how I do, and then it's time for the review. Okay, so here we have Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime out of his packaging. Uh, Cybertron in truck mode looks looks pretty damn sweet. Uh, very angular as in comparison, especially to his War for Cybertron version. While this actually resembles somewhat of a truck, this looks like a Xenomorph fucked Autobot. Uh, which I wouldn't mind an actual official Xenomorph Transformer. I'm a fanboy of both, so... War for Cybertron's about an inch longer, so if size matters, go for uh, go for it. But I like good solid construction and fun transformation. Uh, this is good solid construction, not so much fun transformation. It's, it's very simple, and uh, I'm gonna get into that here. Uh, one gripe before I start transforming him. His uh, oh, move the camera back. His pegs are, the tabs and everything are really tight fits and kind of hard to get into the right places. And I can't get his middle wheels to roll and get the outside ones. It's a minor gripe, minor gripe. Uh, I said his transformation isn't really fun, but you know, if you have a kid or something and you want to get him an Optimus Prime, it's really simple. But you don't want to insult him by getting him the, uh, the GoBot version whatever they're called, called these days, Rescue Squad, uh, get them this one. This one's not, come to, uh, not going to confuse anyone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unpeg the bumpers from each other. The bumper halves, rather. Uh, this just pulls apart. We have tabs here in the backs of the, the ankles that go into his shoulder blade area. They do not, you know, peg up really well unless I just am missing something. And I don't think I am. Uh, feet swivel back. Those tabs help lock the ankles back in place. Uh, it's got a ball socket here. So you get a, a decent range of motion, but not as wide stance capable as I'd like. Uh, what's next? Arms. Prime needs arms so he can punch the shit out of evil. Uh, oh, he's backwards. Uh, he probably needs to face the right way to stomp the shit out of evil, too. Uh, that plugs in there. Yes. And if you have no fingernails like me, there's a panel right here that you can push in. And that lifts up this panel here. And you can do that. Everything snaps up. Rotate his fists back around. I don't know that 
you, you could leave his fist in the right positions while he's transformed. So, I mean, it's not going to be that big of a deal in vehicle mode. Now, parts of this robot mode I like. Parts of this robot mode I don't like. Uh, let's start with what I like first. I like the big, chunky feet and uh, and hands. It actually looks like something that came out of an Unreal game. Because he did come out of an Unreal game. Or Unreal Engine. He's got a huge amount of motion for the head. Which... Get up there. Look at this. He looked down. This guy's a really, really good range of motion in the head. Uh, not so much in the shoulders. Uh, obviously because of his stupid-ass shoulder pads here. And in the package, and you saw in the photos at the beginning, these are transformed up like this, but the actual instructions show that they should be swooped back. And I kind of like that more. Uh, gives him more of that, a little bit of a hot rod look with the, the fins of an old Bel Air. Possibility, like I pointed out, he's got the ball swivel in his ankles. Uh, hip swivel and ball socket. Uh, no knee, but that's okay. Well, he's got a knee. He's got no knee swivel. It's just a bend. Waist movement is always a bonus. If you need to turn or go do the twist to some chubby checker. Ball socket arms or ball socket shoulders. But they don't do much good because of the bulk of the, the, the exhaust pipes. But he's got a pretty good range of motion, which. I really, uh, I really like in my figures because I like to pose them and make them fight, you know, like a giant man child does, because I am man child man. Now the test of a figure's awesomeness is this: can he do the free standing one foot kick? And yes, he can. My hands are completely away from it. I'll show you. That's uh, that's badass right there. Okay, get him out of that. Oh, how does he stack up against? Robot mode war for Cybertron. That's that's the question. It's no contest. He's a midget. He's he's squat. He's he's not as cool. Let's let's face it. I'm sorry. You lose. War for Cybertron Prime. It's just bigger. I love the the fiddly little pieces of armor that. They allow for such, just, I don't know, such better posability and more dynamicness. Look at that, I mean, that's just... I am Optimus Prime, and I will fuck all of you up if you fuck with me. Do you want some? But, yeah, War for Cybertron, Optimus Prime is... I gotta say, just a, a better figure. It's a, a more fun, complex transformation. He's actually got light piping. I think. Yes. He actually has light piping in his head. The uh, Fall of Cybertron, they skimped out there. And here's the most insulting part. Fall of Cybertron figure, uh, for all of its goodness, is uh, it's actually more expensive than the War for Cybertron figure was when I bought it, thanks to inflation and all that good shit. So, 
But if I had to pick just one figure from the video game lines, it would definitely be the first game's figure, War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. He has just as much posability, if not more, uh, than Fall of Cybertron. I don't, I don't really like his vehicle mode so much, but he's bigger. He's so this one's definitely probably got to spend most of his time in vehicle mode. Well, that about wraps up this review. In closing, I would say pass on this Optimus Prime if you already have the War for Cybertron version. But if you don't, or you just like to collect the primes, then go ahead and pick him up. He's he's still a pretty solid figure. He's just not my favorite of the primes. Uh, by a long shot. This has been Spider for Pycrum Studios at youtube.com slash Pycrums, and I will check you guys later.